This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Nick Quaterni. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. After three days of intense search and crews have found new objects floating in the water that has been confirmed has come from the missing Air Asia flight that has been missing since Sunday. Indonesian officials are reporting that they spotted victims in the water and it's been confirmed that those are the victims from the flight. Aircraft from several countries were taking part in the aerial search, including Australia and now the United States. The planes which were flying, the plane, the missing plane, which was flying from Indonesia to Singapore was carrying 162 people. Ground control lost contact with the plane 45 minutes after takeoff and that debris and those bodies were found roughly six miles away from the last known position of that missing flight. And locally, a federal judge has ruled against nine southern tier homeowners who claim their drinking water was contaminated by a natural gas well nearby. Homeowners, including one in Horsehead, said silt and methane polluted their water and it was caused by a gas drill or gas well that was drilled back in 2010 by Denver-based Anschutz Exploration Corporation. Now, a U.S. district judge in Rochester says the landowners have failed to prove their claim. The decision was made on December 17th. 13 more businesses in New York State are committing to bringing more jobs to the state by expanding or relocating. New York officials say the businesses have agreed to expand or locate the tax-free zones sponsored by colleges and universities, and it will invest more than $11 million to create over 200 jobs. The areas include Buffalo, Long Island, Brooklyn, and right here in the Finger Lakes region. Now here's meteorologist Craig Flint with today's forecast. Hey there, Nick. Thanks a lot. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone, on the webcast as we get you up to date with the forecast. And look, we've been telling you the air is going to grow colder as we head into uh, the new year, specifically a chunk of some true Arctic air will be diving its way to the south and uh, will be setting up shop here for uh, the next several days. Today in the 20s, tomorrow in the 20s, and likely in the 20s right through the end of the week. And then beyond the seven day, the air looks like it's going to get even colder, if you could believe that or not, uh, as we head into this time next week. Daytime high temperatures probably in the teens for highs and nighttime lows in the single digits. So just get set for that. We're first warning, so I figured I'd just let you know now. Uh, okay, so today, cold conditions, rest of the week, really, with temperatures in the 20s. And I have a look at your New Year's Eve forecast uh, coming up here shortly. I do believe I have that. If, if not, I'll let you know what it'll be anyway. Uh, but a messy mix storm uh, Sunday. Mixed to snow, the way it looks right now, with temperatures heading into the 40s and then dropping through the 30s. And it's really going to drop as we head into next week. Ah, yeah, there's the New Year's Eve forecast. So at midnight, check out these wind chills. Five above to zero, okay? It's going to be nippy for New Year's Eve, but calm and cold. So you'll want to bundle up as you head out to, uh, to all the New Year's Eve celebrations. So future track today, early on, we've had this kind of plume of snow stretching down to the north and east of Elmira. Uh, steadiest of the snows out that way. Now throughout the course of the day, I can't rule out a passing flurry or snow shower and some sun. So a variable sky, 25 to 30. Overnight tonight, a couple more flurries moving through and teens. So it's a cold start to Wednesday and throughout the course of our Wednesday, similar weather with some sun at times, some scattered flurries or light snow showers, temperatures topping out in the 20s. Here's your seven day forecast. You see that reflected there all the way through Friday. Now Friday we get up to 34 with some sun over to clouds. And by the weekend, breezy and milder, 35 to 40. And there's that mixed to snow on Sunday at 41. but. Temperatures are going to drop. Look at Monday, only 22 with some scattered flakes and even colder beyond Monday, teens likely uh, for daytime highs, as mentioned, and overnight lows uh, by this time next week, probably down in the single digits. That does it for me. I'll see you in the new year. Nick. 
Thank you, Craig. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WNY News at noon, 536 and 11. Don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Nick Quaterni. Have a great day.